Okay, hello. Matt here. This time I'm changing it up. Taking it to the streets. Guerrilla, gonzo journalism style. I'm standing in front of a real life, 100% authentic Japanese small town laundromat. So, let's go. Go, go, go. Okay. So, I'm going to uh, make some comparisons to laundromats in the United States. Uh, first off, let me say that I never have used an actual laundromat before in America. Uh, when I went to college, I used the laundry place there, but that's not really the same. But there are a few differences, like, so I'm not exactly positive if, uh, about the, the specifics of some of the, the logistics of using laundromats in America versus in Japan. But, uh, so I'm just going to go with, you know, my knowledge of the baseness of the American character in general and assume that, uh, for example, you may notice that there is not an attendant in this laundromat. There's no one here. Which is made even more insane by the fact there's a TV. There's a TV. It's not like bolted down, it's just a TV. Like, yeah. In America, that would be stolen by a. Uh, if it was an inner city, it'd be stolen by a crackhead. If it's a, like a small town, it'd be stolen by a meth head in like five seconds. Uh, and then the other thing you'll notice is, is, is that, you know, the uh, machines just kind of are here. Uh, when I was in college, there was no attendant in the laundry, uh, laundry area either. However, there was a problem with students uh, vomiting in the launder in the washers and dryers. Uh, so, you know, that's kind of interesting. You assume that if college students do it, that everyone, you know, that it's only open to college students and they still manage to mess it up. Uh, and then here's a vending machine with beer. So that's another another thing. Uh, you know, it's not no. Uh, Nothing. Just a vending machine, beer, hooray. Which is crazy considering the lengths that many American college students will go to in order to obtain alcohol. I mean, if this was in America, there would basically be a line from here all the way to America for uh, paying price, pay, buying this stuff, even at inflated uh, vending machine prices. And, you know, and then a, a vending machine with uh, sell cigarettes too. Under 20, don't buy it. No way, it's bad. That's really the only, uh, like, the only mechanism in place to stop people from doing it, is a little sign. So that's pretty interesting. So, basically, what you can gather from this is that, like, the tragedy of the commons in Japan is much less tragic than it is in America. Or at least in, in, this, in this regard because this entire place is indicative of a society that does not have a bunch of, as, or it, I'm sure that there are stupid, retarded Japanese people, but it is not as chronic a problem as it apparently is in, in American cities. Because this entire place bespeaks of, of a society where, you know, people generally just treat, treat public property or treat private establishments with respect. And not because, like, someone is there telling you to, but just because they're not fucking stupid and, uh, stuff. However, Japanese TV still is really terrible. I don't know what the hell's going on there. But anyway, so, you know, that's, that's, uh, I find this very interesting every time I come here to do laundry. Because, again, it's, it's, you, you wouldn't normally see this. Uh, in a place like the United States where everyone sort of is feels like they are everyone is actually get them. And so like for example the TV in an American laundromat I would imagine would be bolted down. There would probably be an attendant. Really I guess that's a camera there, but that's about it. So Okay. But anyways, I hope that this has been a an informative little jaunt into uh, Japanese society. And thank you for listening and watching, I guess. I hope that 
the uh, people who run that don't get mad at me for filming their stuff. But anyways, yeah. Good luck. Ganbate.